I want to ask you about some payments issues. Um, so the, the CRC process, which is being run with the dig, digital finance CRC, mm -hmm. um, who is leading that of the RBA? Um, the person who's sort of working with that is a, a fellow called Chris Thompson, who is the deputy head of payment system. Okay. And how much money is going into that from the RBA's perspective? Um, can I take that on notice? Because um, there's certain cash component, but there's also staff costs, so I'd have to come back to you specifically. How many staff do you think are working on it? On that project? Yeah. Um, the, C the team is probably, the core team is probably four, and there might be um, not full-time on it, not full-time on it, they do other things as well, and then a couple of others um, who are not in that team who are also contributing. Again, not full-time on that project. Have you formed a view about possible use cases for a CBDC? No, we haven't. And um, in the past, we've thought that the cases for a wholesale CBDC might be stronger than one for a retail CBDC. But part of the process of this um, work with the Digital Finance Corp uh, Cooperative Research Centre is, in fact, to... Um, see if there are some good ideas out there. And uh, the best people to think about those good ideas are um, the innovators which are working in these areas. So, so in terms of the RBA issuing what you call an EAUD through this process, I mean, that's quite a, quite a big development, I would have thought. Mm -hmm. um, you, what sort of digital wallet will you be using? Um, I'd have to come back to you on that. I don't have the technical details on what they're using. But the, the project itself is a um, <coughs> ring-fenced um, project, and the idea is that the focus is not so much on the technology. Yeah. It's really more on the business cases. But you've, deci you've decided to use Ethereum for that purpose. Ethereum is being used, is my understanding, yeah. yes. And do you know what other um, digital currencies were considered or, or platforms were considered? Uh, no, I don't believe I know that. I'd have to come back to you on Okay, well, could you please provide on notice uh, what process they went through to choose Ethereum, mm -hmm. um, you know, with as much detail as you can provide on the pros and cons of using that platform. Mm -hmm. um, can I finally just ask you about, um, I mean, obviously in this space, um, there are, it is hard to separate some of the strategic issues from the economic issues. Um, so looking at the prospect of having a digital currency issued by a central bank in some form may have an economic uh, impact, but it, it's also very likely to have security implications. Um, what sort of feedback and engagement will you be doing with the security agencies as part of your EAUD process? Initially, the... Um the project isn't really engaging in the security aspects. This is a pilot. Right. It's a small ring-fenced process. Obviously, we are focused on, in terms of the technology, making sure that it is secure. It's a secure pilot. It's not. But the initial um, idea of the pilot really, as I said, is about business cases. And if, and if it turns up issues that need to be addressed by security, then that's at the point that we would uh, look at those. So, so what does success look like from your point of view then? Is it, is it determining that there are business cases within the domestic economy where this is going to have some utility? Quite possibly. Um, as you would be aware, the Treasury has been asked to do a, a piece of work on looking at the cases for a central bank digital currency. So this will feed into that, looking at the potential costs and benefits of of a uh, central bank digital currency. One of the things I think that will be important to establish is whether or not the existing payment systems can in fact provide the same or, or better benefits than a central bank digital currency when you consider the costs of the various, okay. various systems. So will the project look at the digital yuan and the implications the digital yuan will have, I mean given that's the only CBDC which is issued on a large scale and is already going beyond its primary jurisdiction, uh, will it consider that? No, it won't be looking at digital yuan, it's just looking at okay. Australian, 
potential CBDC. Okay, so, but, it, so, but it won't look at the implications of, no. of, of, of a, foreign current, a foreign government issuing a CBDC. No, it, it won't. could be used by the diaspora or could be used in our backyard. No, it won't be looking at that. That that's a broader issue about potential broader holistic government um, considerations of whether or not you might want a digital currency. So where does that sit then, from your point of view, as an independent uh, that, that reserve sits, that bank? Sits, that sits with the government. Ultimately, a decision on whether or not a central bank digital currency would be issued would be a matter for the government. So that sits with the Treasury? That would sit with the Treasury, the government. And the Treasury is doing a piece of work on, my understanding, um, is that they are going to do a piece of work in looking at that. So just to understand exactly what, you, what you're saying, they are, or you... Think they one of the re one of the recommendations of the review of the Australian payment system was that I think it was that one was that uh, Treasury with the bank do a bit of work on looking at the potential costs and benefits of a digital Australian dollar. That piece of work is separate from this piece of work, which is simply looking at what might be the business cases.